This was a battle they couldn't afford to lose. And they brought everything out to try to finish the job. Street by street, inch by inch, they pushed forward and forced Gaddafi's men into retreat. With Gaddafi troops in Martyrs Square, their advance stuttered. Off your guard for a second and you were a sniper's target. <laughs> They couldn't see their enemy, so they had to give the snipers bait, even if it was themselves, by crisscrossing the road, knowing Gaddafi's gunmen were at the end of it. They have lit some fires to try and create a smoke screen so that the snipers don't know what to shoot at. And now they're trying to draw and finish the job off so that they can move into the square. It's taking a lot longer than they thought. Though. With the hours passing, frustration forced the pace, and the rebels pushed forward from a number of different directions. Once inside the square, they had to hold it. And hold it they did. The Gaddafi men were outnumbered and outmaneuvered, and their wounded were abandoned as they fled. This was the first time since March that the rebels had control of the square and they could scarcely believe it. The green flags favoured by the Gaddafi regime were torn down. They have waited since March for this moment and they were savouring every second. The people of Zawiya say hundreds of them were rounded up after their rebellion more than five months ago. One doctor who spoke to us back then was jailed for two months afterwards. But recapturing Zawiya is the time for celebrations. They will be on their guard for any Gaddafi retaliation now, but the aim is to push on to Tripoli. They faced a weakened Gaddafi military this time in Zawiya. It may not be the same on the road into the capital.